Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke and the forecast. Good morning, Kristen. Or hi, Kristen. Good afternoon. We're starting off with a storm system that's going to be tracking our way. We have two of them. One will move in this weekend. It'll bring in snow for the four corners of the northern mountains Saturday and Sunday. It's going to bring in widespread wind for tomorrow. In fact, down across south central southwestern New Mexico, winds could gust to 60 miles an hour. So snow and blowing snow as it'll be very windy up north too. Next storm system arrives Monday and that will be with us through Tuesday. This system will track farther south. This one's going to bring in another blast of cold air, even colder, and it's going to bring in a better chance for showers for central and western New Mexico. Some more widespread snow for our state from the second system. Seven day for Albuquerque showing cooler temperatures as we go into next week. All right, we have some breaking news to tell you about this noon. Firefighters were on the scene of a deadly fire. This happened at 27 Fisher Lane in Tijeras. This was video that came into our newsplex from Sky News 13. Officials tell us that firefighters have discovered a body in a shed. We are still working on gathering the details. Be sure to stay with KRQE News 13 for the very latest on the investigation. Albuquerque police have identified the driver accused of leaving a child alone and hurt after a crash last night. They are still looking for him. Here is a look at the suspect. He is 38 year old Alexander Ray Garcia. Police say he crashed his truck into a tree off of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard near I-25 around 7 last night. When cops arrived, they found the eight year old girl inside with a broken foot. Garcia, however, was nowhere to be found. The girl is now back home with her mother. Police say the girl is not related to Garcia, but that the girl's mother knows him when he's caught. Police say Garcia will face child abuse charges. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.